Welcome to the Steve Ames Birthday Party Show with guitarist Sandy Renda, pianist Mike Yanuzzi, and my special birthday party guests. And now, on with the party. <laughs> I want to be happy, but I won't be happy till I make you happy, too. Life's really worth living when we are mirth giving. Why can't I give some to you? When skies are gray and you say you are blue, I'll send the sun smiling through. I want to be happy, but I won't be happy till I make you happy, too. I want to be happy, but I won't be happy till I make you happy, too. Life's really worth living when we are mirth giving. Why can't I give some to you? When skies are gray and you say you are blue, I'll send the sun smiling through. I want to be happy, but I won't be happy till I make you happy, too. I Want to Be Happy, written by Irving Caesar and Vincent Yeomans. And tonight is a very special occasion because tonight I am celebrating my birthday right here at the Kenilworth in Kenilworth, New Jersey. <laughs> With the two tuxedo tunesmiths at the guitar, Sandy Renda. <laughs> and at the piano, Mike Yanuzzi. We've got a lot of wonderful guests and a lot of wonderful songs, like this one written by Arthur Freed and Nacio Herb Brown. You were meant for me. I was meant for you. patterned you and when she was done you were all the sweet things rolled up in one you're like a plaintive melody that never lets me free for I'm content the angels must have sent you, and they meant you just for me. Welcome back to the Kenilworth. How are you, my friend? Nice to be here, especially for the birthday of Mr. Steve Ames. Thank you so much, Sandy. And Mike, welcome back to the Kenilworth. How you doing, Steve? Happy birthday. Nice to see you again. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Sandy. And why don't I say uh, welcome back to the Kenilworth? It's because we used to take birthday parties here from 1999 to 2007. So we're making our return tonight to the newly renovated and redecorated Kenilworth in Kenilworth, New Jersey. And for this very special occasion, what's on the musical menu for tonight? We're going to rock the house with a song that Mike and I worked out, our original of Guitar Rock and Boogie, or another way of saying it is Country Rock and Boogie. Here are Sandy and Mike. <laughs> Thank you. 
My guests this evening will now sing a selection from Rodgers and Hammerstein's South Pacific. Please welcome that talented singer, also known as the king of karaoke, Tony Adada. <laughs> Welcome my very good friend from Hillside, New Jersey with his annual Oscar predictions, Lenny Mulliner. Hello, How are Lenny. you? I'm fine, having a great birthday party. We're taping the birthday party tonight, February 20th, and tomorrow, February 21st, of course, is my actual birthday. And then and next week on Sunday, February 28th, will be the annual Academy Awards. Are you ready for it? Yes. And you've got your predictions? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm going to read off the nominees and you tell me who you think will win. We will start with the best actor in a leading role, Brian Cranston for Trumbo, Matt Damon for The Martian, Leonardo DiCaprio for The Revenant, Michael Fassbender for Steve Jobs, and Eddie Redmayne for The Danish Girl. Well, there's uh, three different people in there, I think, that could e equally qualify for that, but I would think it would go to Leonardo DiCaprio in The Revenant. Okay. I think he'll he'll win on, on that. Well, he's a very uh, popular... Eddie Redmayne, and there's a, there was another one there in the beginning. They, they have a shot at it, too, but I, I think it'll be Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, now we go to uh, Best Actress in a Leading Role. Kate Blanchett for Carol. Brie Larson for Room, Jennifer Lawrence for Joy, Charlotte Rampling for 45 Years, and Sayah Reese Ronan for Brooklyn. That would be Brie Larson in Room. Okay, that's your prediction, very good. Now for Best Director, we have Adam McKay for The Big Short, George Miller for Mad Max, Fury Road, Alejandro G. Inurito for The Revenant, 
Lenny Abramson for Room, and Spotlight was directed by Tom McCarthy. The, uh, that would be, that would go to the director of The Revenant, Alejandro, I, I can't pronounce his last name. It's well, the okay, I just did again. It was Alejandro G. Inurito. Yeah, I, I think that he would take that, uh, w w win that category. Very good. Next we go to uh, the supporting actor, the best supporting actor, Christian Bale in The Big Short, Tom Hardy in The Revenant, Mark Ruffalo in Spotlight, Mark Rylance for Bridge of Spies, and Sylvester Stallone for Creed. That would, uh, uh, that would go to Sylvester Stallone in Creed. And uh, Sylvester Stallone has always been one of my favorite actors. He's always, whatever movie he's in, he just, he's always good. And I saw the picture and he's very good in that picture. Now, actress in a supporting role. We have Jennifer Jason Lee for The Hateful Eight, Rooney Mara for Carol, Rachel McAdams for Spotlight, Alicia Vikander for The Danish Girl, and Kate Winslet for Steve Jobs. That would go to Alicia Vikander for The Danish Girl. And uh, I believe that she uh, has some Scandinavian background. She's from either Denmark or Sweden. I'm not sure what country, but she's from one of those countries. And, and you predict that she'll get the Best yes. Supporting Actor, Actress, Oscar. Now for Best Picture, we have The Big Short, Bridge of Spies, Brooklyn, Mad Max Fury Road, The Martian, The Revenant, Room, and Spotlight. Which film do you think will be the best film of the year? I'm going to go again with The Revenant. I, I think that's, uh, that, that's like w one of my favorite films for the year. Well, you also predicted the best director for that film and the best actor for that film, so perhaps it will also get best film. Thank you, Lenny <laughs> Mulliner. Thank you. Please welcome my dear friend, the very talented concert pianist, Emma Mamayeva. <laughs> now that very talented song and dance man, impressionist and entertainer extraordinaire, Spats Donovan. <laughs> Hello, Spats. Take it away. No, I am the great and powerful Wizard of Oz. Why bust my buttons? Ooh, that's a horse of a different color. Come on in. Come on into the w and and see the Wizard of Wiz. Wow, Wiz of a Wiz of a Wiz. He was. If I were king of the forest, not queen, not duke, not prince, my regal robes of 
the forest would be satin, not cotton, not chintz. I command each thing, be it fish or fowl, with a ruff and a ruff and a royal growl. Ruff, ruff, ruff. As I click my heels, all the trees would kneel, and the mountains bow, and the trees count and the sparrow would take wing. If I, if I were a king, each rabbit would show. Respect to me, the chipmunks genuflect to me. Though my tail would lash, I would show compassion for every underling. If I, if I were a king, just king, I'm the monarch. Of all I survey, ma ha 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 what makes a flag on the master wave? What makes an elephant charge his tusk in the misty mist of a musky musk? <laughs> what makes a muskrat guard his musk? Courage. What makes a sphinx the seventh wonder? Ooh, what makes the dawn come up like thunder? What makes a hot tot so hot? What did they got that I didn't got? Courage. <laughs> <laughs> and you can say that again. <laughs> Knock. If I, if I who were a king. <laughs> <laughs> You know, ladies and gentlemen, the American songbook is so rich with amazing, colorful treasures. And they're songs that we call in the business as, as chestnuts. This is a beautiful song that was written by a gentleman by the name of Jimmy Webb in back in the 60s. And uh, it has a lot of substance and heart. I hope you enjoy it. This time we almost made the pieces fit, didn't we? This time we almost made some sense of it, didn't we? This time, I held the answer here in my hand. I touched it, <laughs> and it had turned to sand. This time, we almost sang our song in tune, didn't we? This time we almost made it to the moon, didn't we? This time we almost made our poem rhyme. 
and this time we almost made that long hard climb didn't we almost make it didn't we almost make it didn't About six months ago, I wrote the lyrics and music to a new song entitled The Good Old Days, and here it is. The good old days, the good old days, take me back to the good old days. In summertime and springtime too, I love to reminisce with you. The good old days, the good old days, take me back to the good old days. Thinking of a memory, happy times for you and me. The good old days, the good old days, let's sing about the good old days. I hope you'll join me very soon when I croon this little tune. The good old days. I said the good old days, the good old days, Take me back to the good old days In summertime and springtime too I love to reminisce with you The good old days, the good old days Take me back to the good old days Thinking of a memory Happy times for you and me The good old days, the good old days Let's sing about the good old days. I hope you'll join me very soon when I croon this little tune, the good old days. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Stevie. Happy birthday to you. I want to thank all my friends and guests for making tonight's birthday party so very, very special. And also, my mother, Josette, is in the audience, and my mother wants to say hello to everybody, and she had a lot of fun, as we all did. And let's hear it for the very, very talented musicians, Sandy Renda and Mike Yanuzzi. Let's hear it for them. And my very special guests, Tony Adada, <laughs> Lenny Mulliner, Spats Donovan, and Emma Mamayeva. And I want to thank the staff here at the Kenilworth for making this a most delicious dinner and a most wonderful party. And until we meet again, remember. I love to spend this birthday with you. As friend to friend, I'm sorry it's through. I'm telling you just how I feel. I hope you feel that way too. Let's make a date for this time next year. I'm here to state we'll have lots of cheer to bring again, sing again the things you want me to. I love to spend this birthday with you.
Good night.